Have you ever wondered how Uber Eats knows when your order will be arriving? Let's understand this up with the help of an example. Imagine you are in a restaurant and you are ordering a pizza. So you tell the waiter that you want a pizza. He's going to go to the kitchen and place your order. So in this case, the kitchen is the API server. Meanwhile, you are sitting at the table. That's your browser. Once the pizza is ready, the kitchen gives it to the waiter. Waiter then serves you the pizza. And that's how an API fetch data from the server. But there is an interesting thing. While your pizza is being cooked, you don't need to just sit there. You can order a cold drink or any other stuff, whichever you want along with it. Now that's asynchronous programming. While one request is in progress, other tasks can also run in parallel. Let's understand it with the help of a live example. A functionality where you have a function called get food, which is going to have ordering pizza, then an API will be called with the help of fetch function. And once we get the result of it, we are going to show that pizza is ready. So that's how it's going to be delivered. So now look at here. This console log will be called at first and then get food will be called because it is processing a bit. Now I'm quite sure you have understood API and asynchronous programming 